TV. Go do it somewhere else. <laughs> the mask in here. I want to... Stay watching the video. <laughs> I want to tell you something. Andrea asked me this weekend if I'm going to the casino. Because there's a big storm. We have a big storm outside right now. I said, no, I'm not going to the casino. We have two casinos. We have the one casino with tables that's an hour and a half away, but I like to play craps. Hey, then we have these uh, slot casinos where there's video yeah. poker and slot machines and all this stuff. That's the one I would go to. It's a half hour away. And I'm, I'm trying to do a blog. I had to put the television on. I'm trying to do the blog. Did you hear the TV on here? I was watching a Chinese channel. Right? She just ordered Chinese food, so it must be in her blood to watch a Chinese channel. <laughs> See? I have to do a blog with the TV on. I'm glad you're seeing this is my my life. So I said, I'm not going to the casino. I only go when I need to relax. I have, you know, not, not tough weeks. Every, every day if I get up in the morning, everything is great. But some weeks, you know, I work it's 14, 16 hour days. It's constant. I'm not like a construction worker where I work 9 to 5 and that's it and now I relax. I'm an entrepreneur, as my mother used to say. And, and as an entrepreneur, we work every waking hour. Maybe I, one hour a day I watch television at night, 10 o'clock at night, that's it. So, and after meetings and phone calls and shooting and editing and everything I do, I like to relax like my kids going to a, an arcade, like the video games. So I play the slots or video poker. I put a quarter in and that. I play a penny machine. I have penny machines in Las Vegas. I don't have penny machines here. So I said, no, I'm not going to the casino. And I don't want to risk the money. I, I don't risk a lot. The last time I was there, I think I won $125. But I don't risk a lot. Maybe $40, $60. I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk it. The, 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 maybe $100 tops, but I, don't, I didn't want to risk the money in the casino. So I just didn't want to go. So instead, this is what I did. Last night, I took the family to the movies. It cost me $70. This, this afternoon, I took the family to the movies. I took them to see Caroline, Caroline, Ca Caroline, Coraline. Coraline, something with Ca Carol in it. I can't say the name right. What's the name? Coraline. Coraline. So I was, Coraline, today. another $70, because it's in 3D, so they charge a little more money. Oh, they do? <laughs> yes. So I already spent 70 last night for the movies, 70 today for the movies. Can you add that up already? And now my wife just ordered Chinese food. How much was it? $70. $70. It's a $70 house. It's a $70. Everything $70 I do. Weekend. Everything I do is $70. I just spent $210. $210 and I didn't go to the casino cuz I didn't want to risk $100. And what did I just spend? $210, two movies and Chinese food. Does this I should have gone to the casino. Does this make any sense to you? I didn't want to have I have fun. I sit there. I play I have hours. 3 or 4 hours I can play in $100 or less. The way I play it, one quarter at a time, one nickel at a time, whatever it is. I should have gone. That, that's how my mind, I think, I don't want to risk $100. I wish they had a family. I don't want to risk $100 at the casino, so instead I'm going to spend $210 on movies and Chinese food. Go to DavidBronstein.com and tell me if that's what you would do. If you said, well, I like to go to the casino. Uh, or I'll just spend $210 on two movies and Chinese food. A movie I can't even pronounce. Coraline, Caroline, Caroline, Caroline. I, I can't even pronounce what the hell the movie I saw. But I spent $210 on a movie. I don't know what the hell I saw. Goodbye.